Hey, Bear. Watch it, watch the base. And pull it, yeah, right right out there, look, look at him. It's a, it's a humpback. How's it hanging? Amazing. It's like the best thing of all time. Hey everybody, good morning. Since we've been here at Blackfish Hollow, you guys have uh, seen Nicole and I turn our property here from an eight acre, completely overgrown, dreadlocked up forest that was created by a couple different logging events into a little bit thinned out, a little bit of a living space. We've got more thinning out to do and you've seen these trees since day one, the yurts behind me there. And a lot of you guys have seen these leaning trees that since day one have been what Nicole and I have walked underneath on our pathway there. Every day we go back to the yurt. And it's get, I'm getting to the point now where uh, I'm ready to use them for the cooking pedal of the deck. And what I mean by that is the deck's gonna have four pedals. I'm talking to a gardening guy, so I'm gonna use the pedal comparison. Um, the deck's gonna have a wraparound walkway, but then four main pedals, like the petals of a flower and each petal will have a theme. So one petal will be for a uh, mudroom, welcoming area. That's the one you guys saw us build first. Second petal, qigong and yoga area. Third petal, the full restroom, washroom. And then the fourth petal, cooking area. So we're building the cooking area next. We can start building the cob oven while I start building the washroom at the same time because the cob oven needs about one week to two weeks, depending on the weather, to dry and uh, harden. So we're gonna cut these guys right now. There's Maddie Lee right there. Yep. Super nervous about them because they're total widow makers. They're leaning. And uh, the issue is, is that they could create a splintering effect or a kickback down here at the bottom. So while I'm down here cutting, once, it, once I cut enough of the tree down, then it could like literally kick back and like spike me like a teeter-totter and just send me flying or kill me or squish me. I don't think it's gonna be so bad because if you look at them, they're actually kind of straight and they're leaning from the root. Yep. But they are bending. But we don't you know. never know how they're <clears throat> gonna react once they start up. You don't. But they gotta go because it means a pizza oven. <laughs> so <laughs> they gotta go. This guy wants pizza big time. That'll fuel us. <laughs> For sure. For sure. I'll be able to cut down a lot more stuff if I'm full of pizza. And you know, part of the reason coming to this property, Blackfish, was to, was to build things out of cob. Yeah. Earthen building. And so the pizza oven is going to be for bread, pizza, pies, cookies, and dehydrating. It's going to be our first cob adventure. Yeah. Then I'm going to build a cob, a cob kiln next. We're also going to build, um, I think, a cob um, area for wood chips. And then I think I'll have enough skills by then to build the cob house. Yep. And eventually the yurt will turn into a, like a visitor's house. That's like, we're talking a year to two years out. Yeah. yeah. So let's go check out this, um, these widow makers and get a plan together.
what would you guys do? Here's the collection leaning pretty dramatically. What would you guys do? So that's the, the carport and that's straight. And that's the degree of lean here. Two of them are massive. The rest are kind of adolescents and babies. They're all from kind of the similar root system. So this guy's gonna go first, this one. And let's look at him. He has nothing leaning on him. He's not tangled up with anything. And if I cut him down, he's gonna fall uninhibited all the way down to the ground. So let's put the camera up and stop talking and get to the action here. Where do you want to be? Round one, done. Two minutes, 30 seconds, see if we can drop it. It's in between these two trees that are so tightly pinched. Is it? Yep. Well, you're right. It's right in between them? It's right in between them. It's gotta be. They're his defenders, they're like Buddha's food dog. Watch it, watch the base. Nice. You were right. We did it. Your idea worked. Super smart. Double down. Just use that big chainsaw because uh, that way I was like an extra foot away from the blade, but they didn't splinter or Widowmaker. How uh, in diameter, how thick do you think this guy is? Shoot, at the base, it's a foot and a half. So let's take this one. And this thing's got to be 70 feet tall. And the camera can't pick up like the density and the weight of these guys. Like, no. They're, they don't look Like this crazy much, big, this but... four foot section is, is almost my limit of what I can lift. Yeah. And it's definitely surreal. carrying it, it's, it's so dense. It's wet still too. Yeah. So it's so much. So let's take this guy, we'll mill him with the Alaska mill and set the planks out to dry. And when we finish with the deck, we'll use that for roof shingles. Like every tree we have fallen so far, I can, I can move. Like I can at least like shake. This thing moves like a quarter inch. When yeah. I, when I bounce on it or try to like, like it's so solid. It's the biggest tree that we've fallen since I've, I've been here. And it's the one that every um, local that's lived for, for 40 years has come over has said, you got to get those trees down yeah. because they're like leaning at 45. Yep. They're down. Now it's a lot safer here and we got airflow and we got more sun and we've got materials for the upcoming roof and deck. So what we don't have anymore is a path out of here. Let's make one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bear. <laughs> Going right for Blackfish Hollow. They run up the road? No, they went right into the bushes right, oh, they right went there. They went that way. Yeah, what do you think about that? 
Sweet. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. They are right next door right now. You drop one, three, one. I heard a cute little fairy in there say, no baked cookies. What? Right now. Oh my God. No baked cookies. So as you guys can see, we're just doing the same things over and over and over again. Um, chopping the logs, measuring them to size, shosuke bombing them, which I'm getting ready to do right now for the three middle posts on the other patio, and cement and all that. You guys don't want to see all of that again and again and again. So we're just going to do little clips in here and there and um, just get it done, honestly. Once we get that one put up, we're gonna focus on putting the roof on this one so we can have our shoes and stuff outside um, and tons of other stuff and other ideas that we have for making a bench and, and a sink and all that. But again, we're just doing the same thing over and over again until we get that porch done, boards laid, and then we're gonna focus on putting on the roof. First victim? Ooh, yeah, five. Uh, five? Yeah. Always do the fatter end, you know what I mean? So right now this is the fat end. This is quite frustrating. It just started to rain. I got smoke. Does smoke count? I think smoke can show Suki bomb, right? All right, well, I gotta put you away. <laughs>
and pull the yeah right right out there. Look at look at him. It's a it's a humpback. That is not an orca fin. Sneaky. See, isn't it, isn't it black? Did it look black? He came out of the water big time that time. 